John von Neumann was a man who seemed to exist half a century ahead of his time. Born in Budapest in 1903, he was a child prodigy, able to divide eight-digit numbers in his head and converse in ancient Greek by the age of six. His brilliance first flourished in pure mathematics, but destiny had more ambitious plans. By the 1930s, he had immigrated to the United States, joining the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton, where he worked alongside Albert Einstein and Kurt Gödel, carving his place among the intellectual titans of the century. It was during World War II, however, that von Neumann's mind turned decisively toward applied science. Recruited for the Manhattan Project, he contributed to the mathematics of nuclear implosion, but an even deeper legacy was quietly taking shape. In studying how best to simulate explosive shockwaves, von Neumann encountered the limitations of the mechanical calculators of his day. He realized that future progress, scientific, military, and even philosophical, would depend on machines that could think faster and adapt their instructions dynamically. Thus was born his vision for the electronic computer, a leap beyond mere mechanical calculation. In 1945, von Neumann drafted the first draft of a report on the EDVAC, a document that would become the blueprint for modern computers. In it, he laid out a revolutionary architecture, the stored program concept. Rather than hardwiring specific tasks into machines, von Neumann proposed that both data and the programs operating on them should reside together in memory, allowing computers to modify their own instructions and thus perform a limitless variety of tasks. This von Neumann architecture underpins virtually every computer built to this day. He did not simply theorize, he helped bring his ideas to life. At the Institute for Advanced Study, he led the construction of one of the first programmable digital computers. Tirelessly cross-pollinating fields, von Neumann foresaw not just the power of computation, but its philosophical consequences. He speculated about self-replicating automata, the theoretical basis for later concepts like artificial life and nanotechnology. In his final years, even as cancer consumed him, von Neumann worked feverishly on the intersection of computers, mathematics, biology and consciousness believing that the human brain itself might one day be understood through computational principles. John von Neumann's computer work was not a mere invention. It was the opening of a new epoch. He helped create the thinking machines that now permeate our world.